Hi everyone, it's Josh from Dungeon Boys, welcoming you back for another episode of adventure as we play through The Wild Beyond the Witchlight. In our last episode, our party got their bearings and faced their first foes in the world of Prismere. What secrets will we uncover and what adventure will we find? Join us as we explore more of The Wild Beyond the Witchlight. So we just finished with me yep. visually Brigand. flopping, but not actually flopping. Yes, it's brigand time. Brigand. It's brigand number one. Brigand number one, Jebic herself, Jebic. Jebic. hops down off of the snail. And she says, now you're going to give me that memory whether you like it or not. And she reaches her club up and goes to bonk you on the head with it. She rolls One way or another, a 21. I can take it. She rolls a 21 to hit. That hits. That hits me good. She roll. She gets you with three damage. Part of it bounces off your helmet. I bang. Dense goblin <laughs> stuff. Mm. And then more where that came from. That hurt. I know. That's what I'm done for. In six seconds, I'm gonna give you a stern smacking. <laughs> number two hops. <laughs> number two hops down to do the same. Uh oh. Break it. <laughs> um, eighteen. Uh, meets it. Meets it. Beats it. I thought it was for. I thought for us it was the goes to the player. Oh no, we've been meets it beats it for a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah it we, goes we, to the attacker. We did falter in the beginning. Yeah, yeah. yeah so it's, it was it's, like it's, for a dungeon. It, let's just do it. Yeah. Yeah. It's all good. That's what y'all Cause we always debate. Because it was uh, for like personal campaigns, it was uh, advantage goes to the player. For Dungeon Boys, I think it's uh, advantage goes to the attacker. Ever since we learned the term meets it, beats it, that's been the only thing that I know how to ch- choose with. We are Let's hardened <laughs> professionals. We can <laughs> take it. Yeah. Let's have this discussion more, and I'm going to compile them into a, yeah, it's totally this, and the next time it's like, no, it's totally the other <laughs> thing. <laughs> This time, unfortunately, um, you're going to take uh, five damage. I can take it. The, sect- the, um, the snail climbs down from itself with a club. <laughs> no, I was going yeah. to say something stupid. The uh, the first Jevic bonks you on out. the head one time, and then you turn to look to see the other one f- jumping down. Yeah. Then it's <laughs> 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 um, uh, Next on the list would be number three, who's going to move up I can take here. It. <laughs> Gonna move up here a little bit, and not don't don't want to leave Eric alone back there. Eric's probably reading another arrow, so he's gonna try to sling out there at all. Eric, um, with a chibi chibi bumbo, weebly no. slip, pop a doom bam, bibbly bee thirteen. No, that won't hit. Slings another sling he's out there. Um, this time, Eric, you look up, you look past you as the rock phew, flies by you. Sweet. Eric, it is now your turn. He uh, the so one and two hit Rusty. Eric. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm gonna try to hit Numero two then. I can take Eric. it. We're gonna call Numero two has quarter cover. That's mm. what plus two to AC. I believe that's plus two to their AC. Do I know He's that? He's behind an armored. Uh, you know, you know, know it's you. difficult to hit him. Yeah, you know that Rusty is between you and that person. I can take it. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just imagine the illusion of Actually, Nick is yeah. like. <laughs> flopping around like, oh, I can't get out. <laughs> it's well, like, in my elbow. Help me, help me step funny. You, you can't see it, though. All you see is me just, like, casually walking towards where you are. Is that one answer yeah, have no, a quarter? Yeah. What'd you say, Keith? Nothing. <laughs> I heard it. <laughs> uh-huh. It's not a thing. I didn't say anything. What words um, did you What, use? John? One and two have a quarter? <laughs> one does not. One is without quarter cover. I'll say two does. I'm going to see if I can get Jebic. Okay. Jebic. Uh, it's attention. With an arrow? <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to say hello. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, put towards attention to me. Okay. By That's shooting an arrow at her. Yes. The technical okay. term is gain aggro. Eleven. That's an eleven. An eleven to hit. Unfortunately, no. You fire your arrow and she's able to turn around just in time to put up her to put up her um, her club and bonk the arrow out away from her face. Mm. <laughs> yeah. well, Modern translation. Blam 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 blam. Hi. Hey. How you doing? 
But she, do, you do have her attention now. That's good. That's he says, good. "I swear, you don't those arrows can kill people now." And <laughs> you could kill someone with a stone through the skull. I know. <laughs> I'm yeah, meanwhile, historically, that's how it's yeah. done. <laughs> meanwhile, Mika just covered in blood. <laughs> oh, no. I'm fine. I'm off. When fine. we were at that gaming place, um, uh, the where Josh and John and and I and Melissa went, right. um, the lady said something about the podcast and said like, as long as it's family friendly, and Melissa was like, oh yeah, it's definitely family friendly. And in my head, I was thinking like. There's a lot of gore descriptions that I do for this podcast. I vividly remember me and somebody, I think it was me and you, wading through a basilisk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, as if we were going through a produce aisle. <laughs> in one of the other uh, later episodes when we were in the desert, I cut off a man's jaw with a shield. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. You tortured that guy. Yeah. we. Tor- oh, was- yeah, I shocked him. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> So we're going for like Y seven, right? Yeah, I mean, like, like honestly, parents at this point are like, as long as you don't, I don't know, change their my children's political views, I'm, you can tell them whatever you want. <laughs> that's Keith's job. Yeah, yeah that's me. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> All I'm right, done. next on the list, you're done. Mm-hmm. Uh, b- b- brigade number four is going to move up again. I can take it. <laughs> We're going to move up again saying, Get Hey, don't, don't shoot at our balls like that. And going to, again, miss you with a <laughs> slingshot. <laughs> Another rock flies by you. Jebic turns to him and says, Can y'all please, for the love of God, hit that guy? He's so big. <laughs> I'm sorry, boss. Um, number five already had his turn trying to hit uh, Jebic. Number six is going to move up again. And going to try to fire one more sling at <laughs> Eric, who is just dancing and dodging. This time, it also fails. Yeah. Eric, Eric just using the distance. To <laughs> <laughs> if we look into each other. <laughs> the goofy movie. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right. <laughs> if you had asked me what the song was, I would not have known. But yeah. when, as soon as you said that, yep. I was like, oh, I know that song. <laughs> Power line. The power line, baby. Power, power line, lives, line was like that big. Power, power line lives deep in all of our bones. Except Maybe. for John's, unfortunately. Yeah, I don't know. It's okay. We're um, going to catch you up. We're going to catch you up. We'll catch you up. So that's going to end their turn. It's Prince's turn again. Whoop. <laughs> I'm going to um, do the perfect cast. Hold up. <laughs> I'm going to uh, drop prone. Okay. Um, so, like, just... <laughs> into the mud, and then I'm gonna... These people are just watching us all flop. <laughs> <laughs> Start walking. Know. Mine is with intent. Yes. I'm gonna um, call out to we number five him. again, and I'm gonna say, because it goes on for a minute. Yeah. Um, and I don't think I have to roll each time. Or I might have to. I mean, I have advantage for that duration, but he's... he's yeah. Um, I'm just gonna call out to him again. Now hit the one next to you. Do a better job. <laughs> you be with my club? Yeah. I'm sorry, Lawrence. <laughs> 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 he, turned, he turned around. Orders his orders, my brother. <laughs> and he raises his club to try to smack um, number three. Uh, he rolls high enough. Oh. <laughs> yes, he fin- we finally get one to take Your damage. Your award will be great this day. You've <laughs> redeemed yourself. He rolls in 16 uh, to the hit. The of Valhalla await. <laughs> and he's going to do five damage to number three. Um, he picks up his club and smacks him across the face. Then the bunny spits a couple teeth out. Says, what the hell, Jelly? Oh, my God. <laughs> Why you do that? And Jerry said, what the hell going on down there? We're fighting these group of people. Come on, focus. And then combat will continue. Um, how far away is number three from me? Uh, number three is what? Well, 25 feet. I want to I wanna stand up and I want to move five feet forward. Okay. <laughs> into the plop, into the ploppy mud. Well, I'm not like right at the edge. I was like just on the okay. other side. You're moving towards the ploppy mud, though. Yeah. The deep mud. Yeah. Okay. Um, and I want to take him, take him a dagger. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna throw it. 
<laughs> at number three. Shuffle. Thwip. All right. So we'll see how this goes, and I will explain a mechanic that I learned about. Uh oh. Um. So roll a range spell, a ranged uh, attack. Oh, yeah, that's eight. I'm going to sing y'all a song I just made up. Sing right. along if you know the words. <laughs> <laughs> so the dagger goes flying through, uh, flying between the two of them. Number three looks up and says, Your Highness? Well, yes. you, well yes. you asked for it. And he takes his he takes his club out and then, you know, angrily turns towards you like he's going to come take you out. The club right. is now a throwing weapon. Um... <clears throat> Moving along, it is now Westy's turn. Is that the mechanic you just learned about? No, sorry, the mechanic that I... So, these guys have several, several times said that, or the, from the beginning, they said they weren't trying to kill you or whatever. You're noticing they do have blunt weapons. You don't know that they're not trying to kill you, but they did say that. So it gave me pause to think, like, well, in D&D, how do you incapacitate a character without murdering them? And the only way to do it is with a melee attack. You can choose, as soon as the damage is dealt and I tell you that they have zero points, you can say, I want to do... You, you can knock them yeah, unconscious. You can tell me that you want to knock them unconscious. That does not apply to ranged attacks. You cannot say... I, you, I, can't, <laughs> I can't describe an arrow passing through the eye socket or any other body part of Jevic from Eric. And, but don't and, worry, and, they're okay. And Eric say... I meant that to be a. I, I want her to be knocked out. <laughs> Warning so, arrow. <laughs> but we have done it in the past. I think like an axe handle or something was yeah, used to knock somebody can we, out. Can you like do a better but, job at your job? I so, used the back of the cleaver the several back. times. Right. So yeah. as long as if which you, would definitely murder somebody. <laughs> if you're up close to a character and you don't want to kill them, you just have to tell me that you don't want to do that. Yeah. You said you did it with the cleaver, right? The blunt of it right into the nose. They're yeah. definitely dead. Otherwise, default. I'm killing them. Oh, yeah. Okay. We are, too. That's... <laughs> All we're right. not going to knock them out. <laughs> Moving along. You know us, uh, right? Rusty's turn, right? Yeah, Rusty's turn. Rusty it up. So being a small creature, I can pass through people's area, right? Mm -hmm. Sweet. I am going to use my bonus action as a... Gerblin. Yeah, gerblin. I have huh. nimble escape. Okay. So my bonus action, I'm going to disengage. Okay. And I'm going to pass between one and two uh -huh. and use my action. Does it need the action to climb the snail? Or do I just climb the snail? Is that part of my movement? Um, we'll say the snail becomes not difficult terrain. Use so the pick. We'll let you we'll let you we'll let you try to climb the snail. I climb the snail. Um it's muddy and slippery, so I am gonna ask you to do to do a roll right. to try to climb up it. And we'll do is call this, it a strength roll. Is this using my action? Um eh, nah. You're just climbing. It's you're, a six. You're clambering. Okay. So, because the six low roll, you get about halfway up the snail, and you it's all, it's so muddy that you are about to slide down. At this point, I'll let you take an action to try again and keep going up, or slide down to the bottom and regroup <laughs> and do an action. Seven. <laughs> <laughs> All right. The so snail you, bucks. Did I you, get higher? <laughs> you, you do your best to climb up, but you're just so covered in mud right now that the snail is muddy and everything. So you slide back down out of melee range of one and two uh, on the I right side like of the, the snail. I do the visual of that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, you you climb so you, small. You try to climb up twice. You're unsuccessful. So you slide around to the right. Um, you, I picture you like slipped, slipped in between, climbed up, and then Can't you me. slid down to the to the right on the snail, or your right, and um, you're now behind number two and out of melee range. Um, but that would likely end your turn, I assume. Yeah. Okay. Um, that would make it be one, two, and three's turn. Um. One, so you've run away from them. They don't really consider you that much of a threat anymore. Two has turned his attention to Prince, whom they have been calling your highness, but who they just witnessed yeet a, dart, uh, a dagger yes. at number three. So he has proven to be willing to do some destruction. That whole ruse is falling apart. Um, so Ru that bought Rusty some time, though. So number one is going to try to she's uh, she slips Jebic slips her um, club into her waistband, 
picks out her sling, puts a rock in it, and fires it towards Eric, saying, How's this for almost killing you? Oh, man. And she rolls a 22. No, yeah, 22 to do that. That just barely hits. (laughs) Okay. And she does five damage Mm. with the sling. It smacks right into one of your pectorals, almost ripping a nipple off. <clears throat> Just kidding. What kind of clothes are you wearing? Uh, Made of tiny of nipples. Gotcha. Mm. It does hit you in your chest and it hurts. Simple, like chest that like is ready for hunting. Yeah. Fractures your collarbone I mean, a little clothes, bit. Clothes, not chest. Clothes. My chest is made for hunting. <laughs> 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 Ladies. <laughs> My chest is made for hunting. Um, so that was one. Number two is going to fire his sling at you, Prince. Main Street. Right up Main Street. But also, Keith, guess what? What? Disadvantage. Dis- yes. Because I'm prone. Disadvantage because, wait, you lay, you laid down again? Yeah, I'm prone. Yeah, I got up, moved over, and then dropped down. <laughs> okay, yeah, so he fires at you yeah, with thinking. disadvantage, um, unless a 10 hits. 11? No. 11 hits. No, yeah. sure. Okay. No 11. Got the, that mud armor. The rock splooshes right in front of your face Spoosh. as you're laying down. <laughs> um... I'm in the trenches, boys. <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm, I call that out. <laughs> I'm in the trenches, boys. The other characters say, "You mean like World War Two, which happened in this World War One, which happened in this world?" Man, that would be terrifying with magic. Yeah. It happened yes, in it all would. worlds. And then number three. I think it was terrifying on its own. Yeah, it right? was. Uh, thirteen. Well, thirteen hit you, Prince. Uh, meets it, beats it. Meets that it, was beats with it. Disadvantage. Oh no, that was not with disadvantage. Ooh. Uh, so with disadvantage now, yes. It was they rolled an eight plus five, so thirteen. For all you World War One vets out there, thank you. <laughs> yes, I don't think we have any more of those. I don't think so. It's been uh, quite a while. All right, will a not will a that you take seven damage from this sling? Will you take seven damage? The first rock hits no. right close to your face. You like the, to? the second one hits you right in the back of you, the side of your head, <laughs> right behind one of those fluffy ears. It's a glancing blow. Blood begins to leak down behind your head. Um, and then that was all of their turns. Eric, it's your turn, sir. Okay. I'm thinking, am I supposed to kill these people? <laughs> That's up. Do what Eric would do. What yeah. were you trying to do before Keith opened his mouth and said about the killing stuff? Were you trying so, to kill him before? I was mainly trying to, like, not necessarily kill him, but, like... You were trying to kill him. I mean, you're shooting arrows at them. I they're like at them. they're like this tall. Oh, Your arrows yeah. like this long. <laughs> I just want I to think about that. They're me- they're medium humanoid. Oh. Hmm. They're like four feet. At least. At least. I'm gonna try to hit Gibbick's leg. Gibbick. Gibbick. Uh, Gibbick. You can. You can Is roll. That possible? You you can roll to try to hit her. I don't know about actually. You know, hitting a regular bo- uh, body part. I can add. A difficulty roll on top of your attack roll, so we can see if you hit, and see if you're su- see if you're successful <laughs> see if you're successful at hitting the part you want. So let's try it that way. D and D five e slash Keith's way. Twenty. A tw- natural. Unnatural 20? twenty. Unnatural twenty. You better hope it's not natural twenty if, if you're trying to be non-lethal. Uh, <laughs> all right, 20. a twenty He's will in that Fallout VAT system. Yeah. Or whatever. Yeah. A, you will definitely hit. Um, you will definitely hit. And a, a twenty will say, "Yeah, sure, you hit her in the upper thigh." Um, right, or no, femoral artery. Uh, yeah. Six, six damage. Okay, Keith, there is a fumble table. What? In for D and D. Oh yeah, um, yeah, yeah. So there's one feature that's twisted ankle. Speed is ten feet for one D four rounds and dexterity saving throws of disadvantage. That is the only one that comes close to being shot in the leg. <laughs> okay. All right. Remind me of that as she has to operate. That's so something better or a, worse. A longbow arrow that's the only thing that has to do with sinks speed. deep into her thigh and she goes, Oh my god, mother f- god, you fuck mother damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Um, she holds her leg. Um, uh, she said, "We gonna get you, goddamn it!" <laughs> She's that really, it really hurts. Uh, she points and says, "Get him!" Um, what else are you gonna do? Because that wasn't enough. <laughs> um, I'm gonna try to move uh, towards the mech, like try to like get behind the illusion, really. 
Okay. Just go towards me. You can't see it. We'll just go towards me. Yeah. Um, well, then I'm just going to go towards Mick then. That'll work. Okay. And um, Yeah, that's it. All right. Um, it's now B4 and 5's turn. Um, B4. B4, 5, and 6. John's Jer- turn makes me think of uh, the Key and Peel skit, the two old ladies in church. <laughs> I want to place an arrow right between that rabbit's eyes. <laughs> With my prayers. With my prayers. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So they don't have, they, they're not, don't have slowed speed. Mm-hmm. Um, so they can pretty much get to you down here, Eric. That's dumb. They're yeah. coming at you. They're coming to beat you up. Okay. And you said that changing uh, weapons is a free action, right? Like one yeah. time. Okay. Yeah. Changing back is expensive. Now, would five move? Oh, wait. Five's your friend, right? Five's my friend. He's my buddy. Okay, so He's five, sweet cheese. five is going to take back. his t- chance Eight. to say... <laughs> I'm so confused right now, yeah, this is what I do. You stay where you are, son, you're doing a great job. <laughs> I don't feel like it. <laughs> Your highness is pleased with you, sir, soldier. Okay. Just in the mud, you're just waving that crown. <laughs> you got this. He said, what you want me to do now? Just do it again. <laughs> Protect the crown. <laughs> he looks at his club and he raises it <laughs> to beat down on number three again. Lawrence. Oh no, Lawrence. Lawrence. Also, canonically, number five's name is Jelly. <laughs> because I just accidentally named him Jelly. When Lawrence was upset, he called him Jelly. We're going with Jelly. It sticks. Oh. It's supposed to be Jerry? I don't know what it was supposed to be. Jelly. He swings the club down, but but Lawrence Jelly, why? Lawrence, <laughs> Lawrence raises up his club and smacks the club away and says, What's going on with you, Lawrence? What's going on with you, Jelly? like how it's everybody like else Jerry. is <laughs> doing normal combat. Prince is over here <laughs> creating dramatic brother versus brother fights <laughs> while lying in the mud. Yeah. He's having, he's a Sunday afternoon. <laughs> All right. Uh, now the other two are going to try to beat up on you, Eric. Um, what? Four and six are going to try to roll to hit you with it. their clubs. Mm. Um, will a 19 hit? A 19 is going to hit and a natural 20. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He's dead. Oh, boy. So two hair, two hairs. We him while he was here. I think that was the juice. Yeah, he's trying to um, No, it was actually me, I think. It's the, the leather on the foam. It makes a weird noise. No, it's juice. Oh, you heard yeah, he's yeah. begging at the door trying to get into Brindley's room. If you're you. making noises out there from in here, <laughs> so good job. So, three damage. I did that. You're going to take three damage from one club, and then the second glove you're going to take a seven damage from. Yeah. No. Ooh. You're going to take six damage from it. Ooh. So, you're going to take nine damage total. That's some meaty damage. Mm. This, this is going really well for Eric. Wow! Wow! Don't you shoot our balls in the leg! Wow! Please don't do that again! Wow! That's kindly. <laughs> Please. Okay. Right. Um, okay, and then that's going to be Prince's turn now. Wait. You got attacked. You what, Four and six was Prince's turn? No, it's oh, now okay. Prince's turn. Oh, yeah, okay. it's now Prince's turn. It's now Prince's turn. Yeah. What you got? I don't know what I want to do. Is number, hopefully mud. Josh is going to be able to cut a lot of this out. <laughs> so is this, number four. Yeah, so is no one going to talk about Merrick, Mick just on the floor? No, no one's going to target him? We don't We don't know that. He's just stuck in the mud for all they know. Yeah, they, oh, yeah not trying to kill and, us. So and it's not like the two of y'all can see me standing there just making yeah. my way towards towards Prince. How far away? Did I skip you? Are they? Did you? Me? Yeah. I don't think so. Yeah. Well, he moved. You moved. That was the last thing you did was move. Yeah. It's been a minute. I think I skipped you. Let him do it. Why don't you take a turn real quick? Don't cool. Move. I think I, I think the last thing you did was make the illusion. And I went yeah. from Rusty to the Brigands. That's my fault. I'm yeah. sorry. It's all good. So take a turn. I just want to move that illusionary illusion okay. closer towards where I am. Um, and I'm going to continue my move towards towards Prince. So basically, I'm just bringing it closer, and I'm just going to go for that that cube is what okay. I'm looking for. Let's say that you've made it to cool. Prince. So yeah, our our illusory 
cubeness of illusion mm-hmm. now surrounds both of us. So okay, cube. Gotcha. So you guys are now absorbed in an illusion. Yeah, it can be. A, it's it, it can take up any anything in a fifteen foot cube. So I just made a fifteen foot wall earlier, just as an illusion. But now gotcha. people are starting to get behind the wall, so now I'm just going with the cube. So okay. Nice. So what happens now then is that there's even more confusion. Uh, there's even more confusion because you have just disappeared. Right. Because you weren't like sliding your illusory body through the mud. Nope. I just kind of like, you know what? You know what? As it be- before it leaves, the it, it has the illusion of me sinking into the mud. How's that? Ah, okay. Yeah. Nice. Very cool. Okay. Okay. So, I missed it. I'm sorry. I was doing research. What are what's what is the image that's portrayed? It's just it's the same image of you down there prone on the ground, mm. but now like we can we can get up and we can do whatever we want to nice. do. So. Can I can I speak? Yeah, sure. that's what I was planning on doing. Go for okay. it. No, you you go first. You do what you're doing. Sweet. I'm, I'm present in the moment now. Prince, Prince, you all right over here? I saw you going down. I, I give a thumbs up. You can see the blood leaking out from behind his ear, though. My ears bent. <laughs> I got like a trickle coming down. Like you said, it was getting down in my eye and everything. Yeah. It's like. Yeah, I don't, and I'm I'm not trying to be loud with it. Yeah, I I got a feeling this is uh, a lot more than we uh, anticipated. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm gonna be. I'm whispering, mm-hmm. but I'm loud so that the other people can hear me. Okay, gotcha. The real, the real life people like sink into, into mud. <laughs> okay, gotcha. Um, hey, we're, just to let you know we're inside an illusion. They can't see. Uh, they see you still on the ground, prone. Well, that's great. I'm gonna I'm gonna sidle over when I can next <laughs> crab have off. freedom to move, so they can't target me after six yes. appropriately. Yeah. After about roughly a period of six seconds. Yeah. Um. Do you have a knife, a dagger? And that, yeah, I got two. Yeah. You want can one? I have both of them? <laughs> well, just for a moment. I'll give them back. Don't worry. He casts friend on me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Here, here you go. I, I pass over my two daggers. Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> Did Rusty see uh, Meek sink um, into the mud? Um, I was. Well, you're on the other side of the snail. Right. You're not. You probably didn't see that. He did it. He w- it wouldn't have made any sound, so you probably wouldn't have had your eye over there. This uh, this this illusion gives me an idea. I feel like I can do something similar. I've got a plan. I'm gonna I'm gonna try something out next time, next go around. All right, go for it. I think you're up next in uh, the next six <laughs> seconds. <laughs> uh, yes, it's now Prince's turn. Cool. Do it. Do the thing. I don't want to do it. Well, you probably need um, to. Don't jump in the mud hole. That's bad. No, I'm not going to jump in the mud hole. I probably I'm. Will. I want to, like, stand up and move over uh-huh. five feet. Did Mick um, see the giant mud hole? Hmm? Did you see the mud no, hole? No, but I see where Prince is at, and I know this that he is not in a mud hole. So yeah. Nice. There you go. Okay. Um, and I can still see out, right? There's no obscur- yeah, obscuration. Yeah, you can see out. Thank you. Um, yeah, yeah, everything looks the same to us. I'm going to target number three. Okay. I'm going to throw a dagger at him. All right, let her rip. Poor number three. Yeah. Screw him. 24! I was about. Oh. I was actually thinking about giving you advantage because this dagger would, like, Come out you wouldn't nowhere. see it until it <clears throat> left the square of the 15 feet. So so what right. he's about to see, but you, you, that's definitely I hit. would appreciate it, but I would counter-argue that it's more my skill than his. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, so he, you yeet the dagger out of there, it comes flipping over, and then with a, with a silent appearance, a dagger appears like 15 feet away from him and flies directly into him, stabbing in. Roll damage. Five. Mm. You did Yep. <laughs> Good. Yep. So the dagger. I'm trying to knock him out, Keith. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> you can't. So I'm going to. You tell me if this knocks him unconscious. The dagger flies out and passes directly through his hollow, his almost hollow boned bunny sternum and mm. <laughs> sinks deep in his little fast beating 200 beats per minute bunny heart. Blood shoots out of his chest and he falls directly per minute. <laughs> <laughs> he falls directly forward and he and on his way down he looks up and says Chill it tell my family <laughs> Is he not unconscious? <laughs> <laughs> no longer has consciousness. Cool. All according to plan, yes. <laughs> At this point there's uh t- Four and six react. Um, 
Yeah, they're about to. People okay. are about to react. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. I need to get. Let's who's, just. Who's Wait a minute, man. He's bigger. <laughs> he's giant. He's pulled up a little bit. As he's the Power Rangers thing. <laughs> As he splats in the ground, two and five go, Lord, no! They call out to Jebek and they say, Jebek, we bit off more than we can chew. We got to get out of here. And they hear Jebek call from the other side, well, No way we did. We got to kill that bugbear. What's wrong with y'all? She looks over and she sees the dead body. Oh god! I'm doing I'm doing more research. What was the What was the thing? Because you, if you have a light weapon, you can make a, a bonus attack with it. Like a lightsaber? Um, no, like a dagger. No. If you make a different light weapon. If you make an attack, like a melee attack, Is, you can uh, use a light weapon as a bonus action. You can stab with it or throw it. Actually, if you do so, you can spend your bonus action to make a single attack with your other. Okay. Yeah. So. That was my plan. Because I have two daggers. Both of them are light weapons. Uh-huh. Threw the one. Sneak attack. I'm going to throw the other. <laughs> okay. I used to have two daggers. You're going to part two. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is my bonus action. Yeah, two and five are looking around for where it came from. It's going to two. Okay. Five's my buddy. Alright. 24. Another hit. Alright, definitely another a 24. hit. Roll um, damage. <laughs> it's another five, All right. but it's not actually because um, it's just two. You don't add your ability modifier to the second attack. All right. So this time another dagger flies out. Um, I'll it, get those back for you. Yeah. Another dagger flies out and grazes the arm of number two. We'll pull them out with, of our sleeping friends. <laughs> <laughs> with two damage. And, it, and you hear, <laughs> as it sticks into the side of the snail. It's shell. Oh. Didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Wait, so wait, wait, what? How did it get in the snail? He sliced his arm. Yeah, he ah. threw the dagger and sliced past the, uh, sliced through the brigand's arm doing two damage and then <laughs> lands in the side of the snail. Right. Now shell. the snail's got my knife. I'll get it back. Don't worry. climb up? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's now Rusty's turn. Sweet. If you're not going to move, Prince. Uh, no, I'm not going to move. I'm going to call out to number five. You're doing great, soldier. Keep it up. <laughs> it doesn't <laughs> feel like your my friend is dead. <laughs> Weren't you going to, like, Slide over like a little bit? No. Well, I did. I stood up and slid over. Oh, okay. And then um, I'm going to do the thing the next turn. Because now I don't have weapons. The, the, now that the knife is in there, you just get to climb up the thing. Easy peasy. No rolls. Oh, sweet. Climb the snail. All right. Rusty is atop the snail now. All right. Now. I love that visual that like a knife comes out of nowhere and sticks into the snail shell. And you're like, ooh, handle now, ru- now, Rusty. Like Prince of Persia. Wow, yes. this is quite convenient. As you sit on top of the snail, Yeehaw. you remember what it was to race a snail. Make sure the harness is fastened securely. Exhilarating. I've got one more ride left in me. <laughs> Burst into flames. <laughs> I got one more ride. Was the snail sprout? Thousands of little skeleton legs. <laughs> I hope so. It, I guess it would leave like a napalm trail. The snail slime is all flammable. Mm. All of it. You put okay. some sponsors gotcha. on that. Thing. So you 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 have you have vivid memories of riding the snail. Faster. I'm in control. Because it was like three hours ago. You are not currently in That's control true. of the snail. I animal handle it. Would you like to? I would like to. All right, you animal handle it. You I have would, advantage. I would like to handle its animals. <laughs> Don't grab it by the ice by the ice dogs. Huh. That's how you control it. That's a fifteen. That's okay. how it shrunk up last time because it slipped off. With advantage, mm-hmm. uh, that is enough to handle the animal. Let me make sure it's enough. I think. Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. Well, handle that snail. Uh-oh. Mathing. No. Snail's got a gun. <laughs> the snail has minus four charisma, but it rolled a natural 20 to resist oh. being handled. Oh, uh, yeah. So, the snail, instead of being handled, you can feel you can feel that it's not happy. You can tell that it's, there's no, it's not happy about this. But it begins to buck. The snail begins to buck a little bit, slowly, mind you. <laughs> Well, what happens to number one right underneath it? Uh, number one, who is right next to the face, the snail wriggles a little bit, 
Um, and box number one out into the open. Nice. No more cover for number one. She limps out into the open and says, What the hell is going on up there? God damn! <laughs> you said the snail is bucking, but like his little suctiony foot thing, like it doesn't leave the ground. So like, I could see one of those like the the four D experience like <laughs> rides that you see. It's like it's just like its foot is based on the ground, and like everything else is just moving all over the place. Yeah, like, so swoop its head in swoop. and then slap it back out. Bryce, right, roll with advantage to stay on the back of the snail. Rusty or the snail? Strength. That's a. That's already at 18. You're good to go. You're stay. You're still on the back of the snail. Sweet. Wait. Do we get a nat 20? No. All right. Anything else you plan to do? Uh, let me see real quick. Is magic stone a... Yeah, magic stone is a bonus action. So I can touch pebbles and make them do magic stuff. Can I use... I have a bag of a thousand ball bearings. Can I use that instead? Sure. Sweet. I grab a ball bearing, or three actually. Okay. I'm glad I'm not the only one. This uh, spell's about to be unbearingable. Heh. <laughs> yeah. Got him. Don't. I won't tell anybody you said that. Okay, so they are now magic. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> now we're talking. Put some hot sauce on them things. I don't think I can actually use it though. I think I need to make a ranged attack. You touch blah blah blah. You or someone else can make a ranged spell attack with one of the pebbles. Okay, so I, I have to use the attack action to do it. So I've I've made three ball bearings, magic. All right, cool. I'm very excited to see how that goes. Um, next, next time, baby. Next time. Next on the list would be Mick. That's me. I didn't forget you this time. Nice. Brief conversation. Hey, uh, Brand, so you you open to move up. Because I'm thinking probably move up, get closer. I think the situation between five and two will resolve itself. <laughs> um, Eric seems to have a little bit of trouble, though. All right, let's go that way. So you, I want to... You go that way. I've got plans of my own. <laughs> <laughs> Sinks into the mud. <laughs> Finger steepled. All right, so you know what? He says he's got it. He he's got the extra the extra dagger. He had the extra daggers. I don't have the daggers. He doesn't have the daggers anymore. I have no daggers. <laughs> so now that I know he's all right because I saw him go down. Uh-huh. You also um, see Rusty staring intently at three ball bearings, <laughs> glowing. <laughs> oh, um, power. Do I see Mick? Well, intent. You don't see anybody. In you don't thing. see anybody over there. Yeah. They're in an oh, illusion. Okay. You saw me sink into the ground, and then you saw both of us disappear. So. Okay. Um, so yeah, all right, you got this. So I'm going to, uh, I'm going you can see me. to head back fast speed as I can towards Eric. Okay, fast speed as you can. You're, are you dashing? Yeah, I can, can I dash and still use the action? Because I have to use the action to move my thing. You know what, here at the end Actually, of this is extremely long action. combat, I think yes. I hate big combat. <laughs> Use your action to move it, yes. And you know what? I'm going to give you a free action to move that illusion because I like the idea of it being there. That works. We've been combating a long time. Prince is going to just... Actually, here. after we do the editing, this is like 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah, but... So. so you run over here. I do that. Your mm-hmm. illusion mm-hmm. remains around you. We just need like a box that we can move. But if you dash, so you would have been, would have been able to go 30 feet, but you're only able to do 15 feet. So you can't quite get all the way to Eric. But you do have... Or illusory, illusory box around you. Nice. I like it. Okay. What shall you do now that you are it's here? at the top. That's it. That's all I'm doing. I'm trying to... Basically, I'm just going around making sure everybody's okay. Prince is the first one I saw going down. Okay. I thought there was injury, so now I know he's good. Eric is fighting off two rabbits who seem intent on beating him down pretty good, and he has taken some big hits. And Rusty seems like he's got this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, so that's it. That's it. Bringing number one is going to limp towards Jerk. Eric as well. <sighs> but she's going to have problems doing that. Is she that can a blood only trail? go. Yeah, sure. She can only go <laughs> half her speed, so she can't get all the way there. Um, and despite the fact that two goblins are in the way, she's very angry, so she's going to try to slingshot at you. Rabbits. Your AC. Sorry. Whatever. Yeah, I don't, whatever these creatures are that I've said a hundred different things. Um, the rabbits, uh, you're gonna, your AC is going to go up two for this. Sweet. 
Um, she rolls a yabba 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 unnatural twenty. Don't roll the yabba yabba. She hits you still. Yeah. She plants one right in your face. This better be a one. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> it's not. She plants you plants one right in your face, dealing six damage. It's just a knockout rock. <laughs> I'm dead. Well, unconscious. Nope. You're you're about to make you're making death saving throws. Because she hits you with a ranged attack. I'm glad yeah, yeah. So okay. uh, yeah, player characters so. always fall unconscious. Yeah, yeah, sorry, yeah, sorry. Think. Sorry, I meant... I Unless meant, you do twice... It was with intent health. to kill, is what he's saying. Yeah, yeah. What, yeah, what I was trying to say is not that you're wrong, uh-huh. it's just that um, she wasn't trying to... She didn't have the capability of knocking you out. Okay, so... So... She is too are, small. Whatever happens... I'm, all I'm trying to say is mm-hmm. whatever happens when player characters are dying is happening to you now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so you... <laughs> she takes a slingshot... Dying. The rock comes in and plants right in your forehead with your bow in hand and another arrow getting ready to get knocked. You fall backwards, whoop, splat into the mud. Eric is now making death saving throws. Mm. He is in his death throes. He is. He's in the throes of death. She's coming after you with Oof. a pair of rusty pliers. She says, that'll teach Eric. you to shoot an arrow in my leg. Hey, those are my pliers. Mm. <laughs> Who's next? Um, one. So we still have two. Three is gone. So we still have two. Two, now seeing Prince over there, is going to... One. Two. Going to run over there and try to beat you up. Do it. Sweet. And they're gonna roll an attack on any you. Damage? Two is taken. Two just took got sliced in the arm. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm gonna With roll a nineteen. Flying can I to hit you? <laughs> <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> Are you still disadvantaged? No, I'm standing. Also, oh. if I was prone, he'd have advantage. <laughs> yeah, just just beating up on the beating that dead horse. Um, so you get five damage from a bludgeoning club hit. Whack. <laughs> <laughs> I might be coming back your way. <laughs> yeah, you might be. All right. Um, now it's Eric's turn. Eric, roll a death saving throw. Can I roll out? Ten or, ten what was it? It was a nineteen. That's fine. That's uh, fine. That's you roll. Nice. Oh, okay. Um, just because you're just clumsy. Be, <laughs> just because you're clumsy. <laughs> so you get one positive death mm-hmm. saving throw. I accidentally Ooh. survived. Chat for those of you who are unfamiliar, uninitiated. Uh, ten or higher is a success on a death saving throw. Nine or below is a fail. If on each turn coming up for three turns, or until, no, potentially six turns total. Potentially five? What potentially would be the total? five. But yeah. also it could be potentially two because crit fail is two failures. Yeah. Uh, critical success is two successes. Right. Anyway, you have to succeed on three of those rolls to survive and become unconscious. Um, but stable. But stable. Or fail on three of those and you die forever. Life goals. Yep. Unconscious. So. And stable. But stable. But stable. He's got butts to go. Take him to the butt stable and ride um, one of those butts. Whenever butts number two butt. hits me, Prince is going to call out. Does he. I didn't, did I hear his name was Jelly? Sure. <laughs> Jelly, save your king! <laughs> I guess I have to! <laughs> um, uh, oh, which means, yeah, must. number five is going to pull back his sling and try to take out his friend number two. <laughs> this became a way darker of an encounter than it was ever meant to be. Um, he yeah, rolls... trying to steal our happiest memories. You're right. Yeah. They didn't say happiest. Yeah, they did. He rolls... Just memories. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Was and we received a, a gift. Yeah. yeah. Yes, right. He rolls, a s- rocks flies past um, his oh, buddy's yeah. face... He said, "Jelly, you you gonna try to kill me too?" <laughs> but he he misses. Them. I whisper to this one in front of me, <laughs> "Jelly didn't kill your friend. <laughs> I did." <laughs> Jelly gonna be messed oh up a gosh. while after this. <laughs> um, yeah. Next on the list would be uh, no five and six. So five that five just took his turn, and then six is gonna turn back to Jevic and say. Boss, you just, I think you just killed this guy. We we ought to leave. Hold on. Sorry. Got to yeah, because whenever they ask for like a memory of receiving a gift, Rusty's never gotten a gift before and they were all sad. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, wait, 
I got the butterfly wings. Yeah. yeah. So it would be the memory of the butterfly wings. <laughs> Which is still, these. like, plastered on the front of your oh, shield. Oh, yeah, right? that's what's on the front of the shield, right, the butterfly yeah. wings. Yep. This guy says, um, yeah, but I think we ought to leave. I think you just killed this guy, and Agnon didn't want us killing nobody. And Jebik says, you might, you might be right. We might need to ski out a lot of here. Y'all pack it up. Um, so she takes this opportunity uh, to tell everybody to pack it up and disengage. Um, that means it is now number six's turn. Number six is going to move back towards number one. Strike Merrick with your um, unconscious body. And then Prince, it's your turn. I'm going to. You heard all this happen, by the I'm way. I'm going to immediately claw at the man in front of me. Okay. Because I can do that. With your claws, for real? I can't claws, yeah. All right, do I it. do a d4 so, as opposed to not that. Plus proficiency? Uh, yeah. Because they're my hands. Yeah. Um, 20. Natural? Unnatural. Okay. Uh, that would have been cool. Are they natural? Hit. Yeah, of course. <laughs> saying, Sorry. Um, five damage. I'm five damage. Swiping it across his face. Oh, you you almost take an eyeball. <laughs> um, five damage. You swipe across this guy's face. You feel it pass over his eyebrows, right past uh, the, his first his his left eye, and you rip the skin completely off of his rabbit nose. Just <laughs> blood. <laughs> Leaking down his face now, like we're man. I promise we're leaving. We didn't know it was going to get this dark. We're I'm, we're going to leave. I promise. With that swipe, can I cast cure wounds as a swipe? No. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> um, that's the no. swipe, and then the backhand. I'm gonna I'm gonna look down at him. I'm gonna call out to Jelly. Jelly, we have unfinished business. <laughs> you can't leave just yet. Your king demands it. Your Highness, please. Justice must be done. Your Highness, please. <laughs> please don't. I don't think it's a good idea. Your Your reward will be great, soldier. Remember. <laughs> I really think I'm playing this spell wrong. Probably so. <laughs> Doesn't he get like a chance to save or something? I have advantage. I persuaded him. It's up to the DM's discretion. Now afterward, yeah. he could become violent and try to kill me. But I've got plans for that too. <laughs> they involve his death. Yep. All right. So, are you going to move or anything? Um. No. At this point, you can't see that Rusty's gone down. All you heard was someone yell, "I think you killed this guy." No, no. Eric. Eric. Sorry. Yeah, because I couldn't. I won't be able to see past. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm not going to move. All right, Rusty, your turn. Cool. I would like to try and hot wire the snail. All right. Roll <laughs> animal, hand <laughs> animal handling with advantage. That's a fourteen. That's a five. He crit fails. Nice! You have now turned the giant snail to be under your tutelage. What kind of range does this baby got? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> it's not very fast. Can I dash the snail? Sure. Cool. I'd like to run away. <laughs> Rabbit <laughs> 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 No, it's not Jimmy! <laughs> That's no, Jevic. that's Jevic. Jevic. Oh. So Jevic is standing there. <laughs> just picture you on top of the snail going just with the wires. <laughs> and then she turns around and smoke billows out the back. <laughs> yeah, listen to that baby purr. <laughs> oh, God. All right, you, the snail, you can you can hear the flaps on the bottom going <laughs> as, you, as it goes through the, the swamp. And you drive over. Or try, you billowing tr flaps sound effect you can add there. <laughs> if not, I will find one. You could do yeah. the, the lip thing and then just slow it down. <laughs> make it a little bit wet. <laughs> oh, God. So you tr attempt to drive over number one. She's going to have disadvantage on a dexterity saving throw to not get run over by the snail. Because she has, dis she has disadvantage because there's an arrow in her leg. Nice. I'm trying to get to Eric. That is the intent. Okay. To run him over, too. <laughs> so she rolled a 19 and a nat 20. Very impressive. So she's, oh able, she's able to get... She's able to jump here to the left and get out of the way of the snail. But... Into a mud hole. She's right on the edge of that mud hole and prone at this point. Mm. So is that... Has my action been used? 
or was that just movement? Or I think you convinced the snail to dash. I think I think you can have your own action. All right. I'm I don't know. Animal handling might have been, but we're at the end. Let's do. It. Let's just add one. I'm just gonna ready an action. I would like to repel any uh, borders <laughs> trying to get on my snail. <laughs> okay. I like the sound of that. Sounds good. And then uh, some speaking. Okay. Uh, Prince, get over. Mm -mm, nope. Prince, get over here and help me get Eric. And I don't know where Mick went. I guess we'll have to dig him up in a little while. Okay. What happened to Eric? He's... I can't see him. Oh. I can't see him. He's on the ground. Apparently. I think he's asleep. He looks unconscious. They just said he was going to knock him out. Ah, he'll be fine. You can definitely tell there's like a big gash in his forehead and blood's pouring out of it. There's a lot of blood. I don't know if that's how he sleeps or not. <laughs> Pro probably not. Uh, that's the last thing I'm going to say. These don't seem like the brightest of people. Perhaps they overdid it. Okay. They definitely overdid it when they met me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, Mick, your turn, sir. Okay. Um, How far is four away from Mary? Uh, Within melee range right now. Within melee range. Oof. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm going to get as absolutely close as possible and, like, split the difference between the two and, like, cover Eric with my my little my cheeks. Okay. invisibility so thing. So you go, like, you kind of, like, go right over there on top of him and essentially he disappears, right? Well, no, he still looks the same, but they can't see me there. I'm just having okay. the illusion. Just like we had the illusion of Prince you. was still prone. You're just keying yourself out. Yeah. Of this yeah. scenario. So gotcha. I'm going to check on him, make sure he's okay, and I'm going to do touch, because we looked it up earlier, spare the dying. All right, cool. Yeah. Spare the dying, tell us what that's about. I spare the dying. Okay. Tell us how that works. Essentially, you touch a living creature, has zero hit points, that's you. The creature becomes stable. You don't have to roll any more saving throws. Be healed. But you're still unconscious. This spell has no effect on undead or constructs. Are Wait, you a zombie he's or robot? undead. <laughs> Zombie robot. Wait, so hypothetically, if I did save, I'd still be unconscious. Yeah, right, you're, right. Be, yeah. you're unconscious. Yeah. Stable. But, so okay. you wouldn't have to roll, but you wouldn't be able to do anything. You'd still have zero hit points. Yeah, you don't you don't risk uh, you don't yeah. risk losing any permadeath. In this situation yeah. you're rolling to make sure your blood clots and you stop right. and you don't bleed out. We're looking for chunks, that's you, what we want. But you don't have to do that. Mick rolls over there and touches you and casts Spare the Dying, a magical we'll call it Anytime warlocks do stuff, it's like a dark purple magic that I picture. It'll you, work. I okay, like it. You, a dark purple raven-esque themed magic comes from your hand and goes over him. You hear and then, a faint cacao on the back. Yeah. Uh, your, your heart rate slows <laughs> loud one in the floor, uh, and you become stable. The blood on your head you ceases screaming. gushing. Um, your blood <laughs> clots up and you are stable now and not completely dying. You no longer have to roll a saving throw. Um, number <laughs> one is going to take her turn to stand up and she's going to say, <clears throat> They, they, the, the little one stole Ploppy. We'll walk home. And she begins walking away. I this like that we have Ploppy and Jelly. Yeah. Does, does the snail get an attack of opportunity? So Ploppy lives in the swampy, plumpy forest. <laughs> <laughs> we have entered the Dr. Seuss book. <laughs> Well, my brain does not have a the lot swampy, to work with. Glean. <laughs> that is not real. That that swamp thing was not real. I didn't. That's not in the book. <laughs> oh, it is now. All right. Is Ploppy in the book? No. Okay. <laughs> well, you you specifically said the swampy Pompey wasn't in yeah, it. Yeah, I know. Somebody at Wizards is like write this down. <laughs> yeah, write this down. Number two puts his hands up in front of you, Prince, and says. I, I promise, man. We we won't we won't ever bother you again. I, I I'm just we're just gonna go. And he turns to leave and meet up with his friend and tries to run away. Can I punch him? Uh, attack of opportunity for sure. I want. I am going to try to knock him out this time. Okay. With my prayers. With my prayers. Hard prayers. <laughs> uh, Twenty-two. You succeed. Do I need to roll damage? Yes. Mm. Two. You roll exactly the amount of damage it would take to knock him unconscious. You. Pull back a fist back of his and head. Boom, punch him in the back of the head and he boom, lands side face down where he can still breathe. I was going to say, can mud. I roll him over so he's not dying? <laughs> yeah. I want to save that for me. <laughs> he plops right next, he plops down right next to the mud hole. Um, I gotta pee again. Hold, let's, let's finish this combat. Hold it. I'm trying. Um, so that was one and two. 
two is unconscious but alive. How's five looking? Five is How's he's, Jelly? he's fine. Jelly's fine. Mentally he's just mentally in wreck. anguish. Um, Sobbing. <laughs> Eric, you are unconscious currently, mm-hmm. so you don't get a turn. Um, four and six are going to do their their best to sprint out of here, um, and you know meet up with their boss and try to get out. Prince, it's your turn now. I'm going to loot the body. Um, yeah, so they've disengaged at this point. Why, why don't we just go ahead and call combat over? Because they are disengaging uh, and running away. And uh, Jebik says, uh, Jelly, I don't know what's going on with you, but this this went, with, this went real wrong. we got to get back to Agnon. Um, is that what I said his name was? Yep. Agnon. Ag- I thought it was Agdon. <clears throat> Agdon, it is. It's a- Agnon was the sheriff in um, Dungeon Boys, if you'll remember. Agdon, with a D. She says, Agnon, Agnon will be expecting us. Uh, we just, we, we, this went wrong. Uh, five, come on, I don't know what's wrong with you. And Five says, Five? Your Highness, you Jelly, sorry. Jelly. <laughs> jelly, uh, or he's, Your Highness... Can I go? Where can we find Agdon? Uh, we're going back to um. We're going back to. It's let me check my map. This won't be plot people would The northern side. The northern side. We we going back to the tollway. 